Good morning. I hope you're having a lovely day, whatever you're up to. It is Saturday morning and I'm going on a little adventure today. I'm going to Norwich in the east of England, a city I have never been to before, with my absolute best friends that I've ever had, ever will have. They're my three friends that I lived with all three years of uni. Uh, we're going to have a reunion weekend in Norwich, which is where my friend Kirsty lives. And I thought I would take you along with me so I can remember some good little times that we had. I mean, we're hopefully going to the seaside for some fish and chips tonight, which is just like the best thing ever. So come along and find out what Norwich is all about and see my besties. I'm so excited. Weekend away. Ooh. We've made it onto a train that is going back to the 1950s slash 60s. It's the oldest carriage I've ever seen. And Beth is here. Yay. Jess is also here but she's asleep and I feel like it's a bit mean to film someone while they're sleeping. So yeah, we're on the train. I think it's like a two hour train, is it? So yeah, we've been on too many trains this week, but we're going. which is the entrance to the shopping centre. Of course it is. Why would you ever have this city is like a thousand different years old. What else entrance? Would it be? Exactly. There's old wall everywhere. And obviously the mall it's has old. been there since then. Exactly. How did people live before shopping centres? They didn't. They didn't. They just didn't. Very heavy. They knew I was coming. Look at that lips, cheeks, eyes. Hello, flower. They land on their bottoms. Oh god, she because she's just dangling. grown adults are, are enchanted by this performance. Interesting. What is even going on? We have made it to Norwich Castle, which isn't the most castliest castle I've ever seen. It's kind of, um, it reminds me of Azkaban, the tiniest bit. <laughs> We have come to a bench and I have no friends because they prefer sitting on the grass and I prefer sitting on benches. Yeah, Kirsty says I look like a loner. <laughs> She's very kind. Look at them. <laughs> Can you send me that fucking so bench? No me. friends, but at least I have a bench. <laughs> I'm on the ground now. 
<laughs> I came up. <laughs> I actually look like a ghost. There's the gals. Gals on gals. 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 So close to the cars. Come back so I can film you again. Oh, he did it. He's coming. Okay, he's going by. He's coming back. How do you train yourself? To I do that? have no idea. I wouldn't know where Look to start. Look at him. Like, what? And once you've started, how does he stop? Food. Well, if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, he's waving at the people. Die. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Optimistic best. Her dreams. Ice creams. Ice cream. Mine's covered in chocolate. We just had some icy creams and now we're going to waste our money on the slot machines. Kirsty's gonna win a cat, aren't you, Kirsty? I am. To match. <laughs> to add to her collection. Let's go. I'm not even kidding, we've just spent so, like, our five pounds worth of two peas on this machine. Should we go win something else? And we've got a little shark and a little rabbit thing. Is it what shark? is that? I'd say it's a raccoon, a raccoon and a dolphin. A raccoon and a dolphin. Literally, that, was, that got intense. for like 20 minutes eating chips and I've been watching this ship go across the horizon and it turns out it's the Disney magic and I freaked out a little bit. Oh my god, I, oh, amazing, amazing. Can you see it on the horizon? Just there, so cool. At me because I'm so obsessed with the Disney magic, but literally, <laughs> it's just so beautiful. It looks even better now with the sun on it. And I'm just thinking about everything that's happening on that little ship right now. Everyone's laughing at me. It's little, it's 86,000 tons. It's one of the two smaller ships within the Disney fleet. It's very cool. They have four ships. Uh, that's the one that I've been on once before. We did a one week cruise in the Caribbean and it was the best thing ever. And now it's just out there. How insane. Good morning, it's another day in Norwich. Um, we had every intention of going out to a bar slash pub last night when we got in from the beach, but we ended up sitting here and with our very full tummies full of chips and just watching TV and it was pretty great. Um, so today I think we're going out to into the countryside to maybe see Kirsty's family and dog for a bit and then hopefully have some sort of pub lunch, whether that be a Sunday roast or other pub lunch. I mean, you can't complain with pub grub, can you? So, it's gonna be good. Carry on, I'm not sorry, I'm not. Would you like to go on the mini tractors? Adorable. They also have geese. And this gorgeous lake. Kirsty says it's actually flooded land, which is very 
random. Can you hear all the crickets? We've got baby goats. this I was just so hot and bothered and we've just got in off a very warm train there are no direct trains from Norwich to London on a Sunday so we had to have a lovely change and the second train was boiling and packed and it was all a bit too much but we've just got back to the flat and I just put my pajamas on straight away so I'm sorry <laughs> there you go um, but we had a lovely weekend in Norwich overall seeing my best friend Kirsty who lives in Norwich and three of us traveled up from London to see her um, like I said we all lived in the same house for all three years of uni so we know each other pretty well um, we don't get to meet up all four of us as much as we should so it is always lovely when we get to do something like this and I just laugh so much I mean I've been laughing till I was crying like two or three times and it's just yeah so tired now though but lovely weekend I hope you enjoyed seeing a bit of the city with me and what we got up to um, and yeah I'll put um, details of where we went and things like that in the description if you are planning a trip to Norfolk anytime soon um, but the name of the seaside that we went to yesterday was Chroma and today we were literally in the middle of nowhere so i'll have to find out where that is for you thank you for watching um i've got more travel vlogs coming up very soon disney themed ones although you did have a bit of disney in this one disney magic in the distance magical i mean today i posted that on twitter and today i found someone who is getting on it today um for the british isles cruise and also someone who was in the village town of chroma last night and saw it as well like what are the chances? Twitter is magical. Anyway, I will stop rambling and let you get on with your day. So thank you for watching and I shall see you very soon for Disneyland Paris vlogs. Woo!